Hey guys, it's uh, Dave Dean here. Uh, just doing a quick video. Um, I was actually, uh, as you can see down here, this used to be my old uh, USB to lightning cable. And uh, I just had the one in my car before and I was like, you know what, every time my spouse gets in here, she plugs it in. Um, and uh, just, you know, just to have an extra cord in case my phone's dying or something like that. I bought another one. Uh, but since pretty much my whole car has audio quest cables, I went out and I bought this guy. So this is like entry level, like the forest green is basically the entry level for audio quest. Uh, but their, their entry level is like better than pretty much the majority of the cables on the market. Uh, so anyways, I went out and I bought that one. Uh, these were very difficult to even try to find. Uh, I mean, you can order them on Amazon and whatnot. Um, I was going to get the cinnamon one because everything else in my system is like, uh, uh, the red cinnamon, but, uh, they didn't have any in town and this, there's only one store that had it. Uh, so I just went and picked it up. I might, I might buy the cinnamon one, uh, later on, but anyways, uh, I, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try it. Right. Just to see what the difference is between like this cable and then the audio quest. Cause pretty much all the other audio quest cables I've had in my system, uh, made my system sound better. Like it was like anyone that I connected, as soon as I turned the music on, I could hear the difference like right away. And it, and I know you guys here out there is like, ah, oh, cables don't make a difference. And if it's like a digital cable or whatnot, like a coaxial digital, anyone will work well. I already proved that theory wrong, right? With this one, the original one I had installed in my vehicle, the coaxial digital cable that I bought uh, that was custom made out in Ontario. Um, uh, Phantom cables, right? So this one <laughs> was nowhere near as good as the Audio Quest Cinnamon, right? And the Audio Quest Cinnamon is like, uh, it's the forest and then the cinnamon's next, right? And then you go into the cobalt. Uh, I was gonna get a cobalt, but I think they're about 500 bucks. Uh, cinnamon's probably about 200 or 250 or something like that. Uh, but anyways, <clears throat> I was uh, pretty shocked with the results. Um, since I've had my car tuned, which was like quite a few months ago, uh, the only thing I ever listened to is my DAP, right? And I, I did a bunch of videos on that, so you can just go look back on some of the other videos if you want more information on the DAP. Um, but when Apple Music came out with their lossless high res music, I was like, oh, that's that's cool, right? Because they didn't they didn't raise the price, so it's like nine ninety nine uh, in Canada, anyways. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, uh, in the States, if it's the same price or not. But, uh, so yesterday when I was driving around, I, I hooked it up right away and I, I went from my dad. I was like, you know, what? I'm just going to try it out. Cause like I said, all the, all the other audio quest cables that I've ever swapped out, it made my system sound better. Right. So lo and behold, <laughs> I, uh, hooked this bad boy up and, uh, I couldn't believe the, the sound quality just by switching the cord. Mind you, I haven't heard it with like high res music on my phone before. Um, because all I had on my phone at the time was like iTunes, like some, a few iTunes songs. Uh, and yeah, I used the Tidal app to try it out before too, but it didn't sound as good as my DAP back then. Um, but then I remembered, I never actually listened to this after my system was tuned uh, with like Apple CarPlay, right? And for my system, I'm using the optical cord on my AMP Pro, right? So I'm getting a full digital connection um, through Apple CarPlay because it's just going into my Tosh Link, the signal, right? It goes from the USB into the Tosh Link straight to my DSP. So it's a digital signal. So I was, I was listening to this uh, yesterday and I was, I was had the exact same songs on it and I was switching back and forth, right? from uh, digital optical to digital coaxial. And like, I was pretty shocked on how good the Apple CarPlay sounded now um, from this cord. <laughs> but like I said, I didn't really listen to uh, too much before, uh, after my system was tuned. I basically stuck to this. Um, but I mean, it's, it's so close. And it's just, it's just slightly like a, maybe a little bit different sounding, but it sounds pretty, it sounds awesome. Like, so if anybody is out there, like if you go with like, I, like I said, I got an app pro, um, for my vehicle, 
if you got if you got like a BMW or whatever, I think they use the Zen piece. Uh, and there's a few manufacturers that make like similar things to vehicles. So you you basically just have to search your vehicle. But I'm going to tell you now, that's the way to go. Like if you don't, if you're one of those guys and you don't want to go buy a DAP, um, the only way it's going to work where you're going to get that digital signal is if you're using an optic cap optical cable, right? Like the Toshlink cable. Um, I know the Zen piece has it and obviously the Amp Pro does, right? That's the way to go. Because if you're using... The thing is, if you go analog and you're using RCA cords to your DSP um, or amps or whatever you're going to do, then you're going to use the DA converter. So I, I did a video, I don't know, it was like one of my first videos I did, and I made a mistake in it. So when I go, when you go in USB on here, it's a digital, you're going digital, right? And then it's going, if you have a Toslink set up, it's going, it's going uh, uh, digital right from there, right? Because I was nobody could really answer that question when I was asking people before. This was like a long time ago. Because it's the one thing I didn't really know. Like, okay, when you hook up your CarPlay in here and you're hooking up to like one of your USB inputs, what is it? What is the signal doing? Is it processing? Is it using the DAC of your your Uconnect or your DAC or whatever you got in your car? And it's like, yeah, it is if you're going analog, right? But if you're going digital and you got like a Toshlink cable, then you got a full digital signal going to the back of your vehicle, right? Um, and then, like I said, everything matches up in my system right now. I mean, I got cinnamon, uh, I got a cin cinnamon, uh, Tosh link or not Tosh link, but, um, uh, coaxial cable right here. And then, uh, off of my, uh, um, amp pro my Tosh link on that one's actually, uh, it's, I can't, I don't think it's cinnamon on there. Cause I don't think they have a cinnamon. It's called. I don't know if it's the big red or the one above it. I think it's it's the second one in the series, anyways, or the third one, one of the one of the three, or one of the two. Um, but I, I don't think it's going to really matter, even if you used like the forest for your Tosh link back there. It's still going to sound good because I mean this sounds good when I just switch this cord. Um, you know what I mean? When I switched it and I bought this, and it was like cheap, right? It's only like forty nine bucks or something like that, and uh, I used this cable. Um, I couldn't believe the music quality. And that, and like I said, it's all Apple. I went and downloaded a bunch of Apple music last night. Um, all the lossless, like, uh, high-res stuff, or, like, CD quality to high-res. Um, and I couldn't believe how good it sounded, right? So, like I said, if you're, if you're, not, if you're not wanting to go the DAP route, um, you're still going to get amazing music going this way. So, for all you guys that... Uh, you know, you're, you're maybe on a little bit of a budget or whatever, and you can't afford like the DSP, the Helix DSP Ultra, and you're going to get um, like one, like the mini or the other ones that are uh, uh, below that, like the Pro and the, what's the other one, the Point, is it the Point 3? I can't even remember now. Um, but if you're going to go to the ones that are lower that only have the optical input, uh, that's the way to go. Like if you got an app Pro in your vehicle, go Tosh Link, because then you're getting the best signal possible uh, and no noise, right? And that's the important thing when you're running that. It's just one cable to the back to your DSP and you got no noise, right? Um, I have zero noise since I got this thing installed. There's like zero noise on any of my inputs that I use. Um, except for if you used auxiliary in, right? If you used auxiliary in, uh, the only time you usually really get noise on that uh, that I found is if you're charging. Like when I tried using this because then I'm using the, uh, the DAC in here. I tried everything in my system. The only thing I haven't tried was the the heck uh usb and a guy just commented on there he's like why don't you use the why didn't you use the heck usb well when i was researching everything for my vehicle and people using dabs because that's what i wanted to use right um the thing that everybody said and all that we're talking like all the top guys and the, and the guys that compete and stuff like that that used a dab they use coaxial right uh because most of them at, uh especially then they they either had the dsp pro uh, Mach 2 or they had the or they were going to have the this is like back in 2018 right when I was researching stuff 2018 and then 2019 um, uh, when they heard that the Ultra was coming out so all of them said this was the best way to go right they had too many a lot of people had like a lot of issues with that heck piece uh, with like certain devices not working or getting a lot of jitter on it or uh, like there was a lot of like issues with it if you're one of those guys and it worked for you that's that's great um, but when I was reading up on it, there was a lot of people that had like, um, some issues with it. And that was like the only, uh, the only two things I've ever heard from like Helix of people having issues 
uh, was that and uh, that Wi-Fi thing, the Wi-Fi controller or whatever. But I don't know. I didn't go that route anyways, right? I went with the director. So um, I just figured I'd pop on and do this video just because like now when I'm comparing something now, back back when I had my system, there was no uh, Apple lossless high res, right? There wasn't any high res on there before. So I couldn't really compare apples to apples. Uh, now I can. And uh, I'm really liking what I'm hearing from this, right? Um, so before I'd always say, yeah, go dap, go dap, go dap. Um, it's so close now that the majority of the people, you're not going to hear the difference. I still think the dap's like still slightly uh, better going, uh, going coaxual. But it's very, very, very difficult um, like when I said, when I'm, when I'm switching back and forth on this thing and I can't do it now because unfortunately, uh, when I have this plugged in, right, uh, for Apple CarPlay, which I have my phone on right now and it's plugged in, uh, as soon as you press play on the music, your recording stops, right? Um, and unfortunately I was going to record it with my spouse's phone, but she has like a 11 pro. So I don't, from now on, I just kind of want to record stuff with, uh, uh, the iPhone uh, 12 Pro Max, unless I buy like a separate other mic that's uh, actually meant for recording sound. Uh, but I think this is pretty decent enough anyways, honestly, when I listen to my videos, uh, the ones where I'm stationary, obviously the last one I did and I'm driving around, I had my windows down, I have the sunroof down, so the music's not gonna sound as good in something like that uh, as it is uh, when I'm stationary. But, uh, I, and then it comes down to like, what do you prefer? Do you prefer optical? Do you like? Or do you prefer a coaxial? They're both digital inputs, but you know, some people, especially on longer runs, like in a car, you have a pretty long run. So a lot, some people will prefer uh, the Tosh Link cable, right? Uh, on, a, on a little bit of a longer run than they would a coaxial cable. Um, but I think it's, if you got a decent cable out there, uh, and I recommend, I uh, honestly, I recommend, I have nothing to do with AudioQuest. I just recommend their cables because I just think they're superior to everything out there. Um, and you don't need to go spend, you know, $1,000 on a cable, right? Because they're decent, like cinnamon cables, even their basic forest one that I got for this iPhone here, uh, they make a difference in your system, right? And you don't have to, you know, you're not shelling out, in a, you know, a million dollars to make your system a little bit better, right? Because once you get into this, uh, like higher end systems, uh, it's like little, every little bit, like counts right you're looking for that little bit extra um and uh, uh i'm worried with title now <laughs> like i like title myself but i'm pretty worried uh now that apple's got their high res stuff out now and they got it at a way better price than title like it's almost a no-brainer right to switch over um i know apple's got some issues right now because nothing that they have uh, really does a high res out there. You have to buy like either a DAC or or whatever, right? But I'm in my car, so I mean, I'm using my DSP and stuff like that. So I'm using the DAC in the in my DSP, which is a, it's a great DAC, right? In the in the Ultra. Um, so yeah, I, f I figured I'd just uh, pop on, do a quick video on this, uh, let you guys know if you if you have a system out there, and it doesn't matter what DSP you got, as long as it has an optical input, and and you have an amp pro or a zen or one of the other pieces which i always forget the other company's names like zen and the amp pro are the two main ones um, if you're using one of those make sure you get the tosh link and go straight into your dsp because you're gonna get your you, and if your system is tuned so of course of course you're probably not going to notice but hey dave i just went and bought this did the exact same thing you did and i listened to my car and i was like i don't really hear a difference or anything well is your system tuned properly you know, and the only way you could ever find out if your system's tuned properly, really, is if you're around somewhere where people compete in like Iaska or Mecca or whatever, and you've listened to somebody's vehicle and, and they come over and listen to your vehicle and say, hey, you mind listening to my vehicle? Um, and they'll tell you right away if your system's tuned or not, right? Um, I went and listened to a few people's systems yesterday and I was just like, I'm in like a dream car compared to what their systems sound like, right? And they didn't, they spent some money on their vehicles too. And I was like, I was like underwhelmed. And, I, and if somebody's watching this, if you're a vehicle that I sat in, 
I'm like an honest guy. Uh, I didn't tell them that when I was sitting in the vehicle, but I was like, oh my God, this sounds like bad. It sounded really bad, right? And uh, one of the systems that the, their, their main installer, who's supposed to be the best installer in there, he does, did a wicked job on the install. It looked nice and pretty and stuff like that. But then when I sat there and I listened to the vehicle, I'm like, oh my God, this sounds like terrible. Like quibbed, like he did the tune on this thing. It was like terrible sounding, man. I was like, oh my God, he spent 